Now, if you're one of those people who think you only like glossy finishes, you need that high clarity, high gloss shine, or you don't like the car, stop it. Just wait, because I may be able to change your mind today. Maybe not, but maybe. Ever since we launched the new next-gen top coats, obviously we have satin and we have frozen. Frozen is a very aggressive matte style finish. And people have been asking a lot what happens when you put one of your famous hypershift pearls into a frozen clear. I don't know. Do you know? We're going to find out today. So here's frozen next-gen top coat. The hypershift that we decided to use today, ZTU hypershift. Now we chose this one for a variety of reasons. The first reason is because we've been doing a lot of green powders lately and we just didn't want to do anything that has green in it. Pretty valid reason. Second is because it's a very vibrant pearl and you'll see that here in a second. You can see just how intense and vibrant this powder is. And we're gonna want that vibrance and saturation to fight through and make sure it shows through the frozen finish. Because obviously the frozen finish, being that aggressive, stealthy look, is going to mute down the colors some and mute down the shifting some. It's, it's gonna happen. But remember, there are people out there, like myself, that actually prefer those stealthy, aggressive finishes versus the gloss, especially when you're dealing with our DIY level products because the gloss finish that we can produce with these particular products isn't really a high gloss factory style finish. It's more of like a semi gloss. So here is 25 grams per gallon of ZTU Hypershift in frozen next gen top coat. Even if you're already watching this thinking I'm not gonna like it, hold on. You may be pleasantly surprised. Here's what ZTU looks like. Gabe, what colors does this shift from? You got some blues, purples, to ambers. Blues, purples, ambers. Pretty straightforward. Very intense colors. ZTU on the S4, black base, frozen. Let's go. All right, guys, we're all done with the project. Now, this is the frozen clear. Of course, more of a matte or stealthy finish and different than if we had used the satin next gen or even glossy top coat. But once we got it outside, Gabe and I were shocked at how much saturation and color shifting properties were actually preserved even in this aggressive finish. Now, I know there's gonna be a ton of you guys that just can't wait 
to type in a comment about how it would look better in gloss and how you prefer glossy finishes. And I'm not gonna discourage you from doing that because everybody has their own preferences. But if you're one of those people, just keep in mind that there are other people, like me for example, who actually prefer the stealthy matte finish. And it's all about using the products that make you the happiest with your own car. Enough of that, we're gonna take it outside right now to check it out. You know what to do, leave a comment below, rate this color, rate this finish one through five, let me know if you love it or if you hate it. If you wanna dip your own car, click right up here. All of our kits are in one place for you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you guys on the next video.